The Theory of Social Evolution by Herbert Spencer, Understanding the Unfolding of Human Societies. Herbert Spencer, a prominent figure in the realm of sociology and philosophy, made a lasting impact with his pioneering work on the theory of social evolution. This theory, which emerged during the 19th century, sought to explain the development and progress of human societies over time. Spencer's ideas, often referred to as social Darwinism, brought together concepts from biology, sociology, and philosophy to create a framework for understanding the complex evolution of human societies. In this comprehensive video, we will delve into the theory of social evolution by Herbert Spencer, exploring its key concepts, principles, criticisms, and lasting relevance. The Historical Context to grasp the significance of Spencer's theory of social evolution, it's essential to consider the historical context in which it emerged. The 19th century was a period marked by profound societal changes, including the Industrial Revolution and the rapid expansion of colonial empires. These transformations led to increased urbanization, industrialization, and the spread of capitalism. In this milieu of change and uncertainty, scholars and thinkers like Herbert Spencer sought to provide a comprehensive framework for understanding the evolving nature of human societies. The core concepts 1. Survival of the fittest At the heart of Spencer's theory of social evolution is the concept of survival of the fittest. He drew a parallel between Charles Darwin's theory of natural selection in biology and the dynamics of human societies. Spencer argued that societies, like species, evolve over time through a process of competition and adaptation. Those societies that are better adapted to their environment and can meet the needs of their members will thrive, while others may decline or perish. Example, consider the rise of industrial capitalism in the 19th century. Factories and industries that adapted to technological innovations and market demands thrived while those that failed to adapt faced economic decline or closure. This economic competition mirrored Spencer's idea of survival of the fittest in society. 2. Social differentiation Spencer observed that as societies evolve, they tend to become more complex and specialized. This concept of social differentiation suggests that as societies grow, they develop distinct social structures, institutions, and roles for individuals. For example, in early human societies, individuals often had multifaceted roles. However, as societies advanced, specialization emerged, with people taking on specific functions within the community, such as farmers, traders, or artisans. Example, in medieval European societies, the feudal system exemplified social differentiation differentiation. Different classes of people, from serfs to nobility, had specialized roles and responsibilities in the social hierarchy. This differentiation was essential for the functioning of the society at the time. 3. Integration and Cooperation While Spencer acknowledged the role of competition in social evolution, he also emphasized the importance of cooperation and integration. He argued that societies progress by finding a balance between competition and cooperation. Effective cooperation, according to Spencer, allows individuals to pool their resources and work together for the common good, enhancing the chances of survival and progress. Example, the formation of trade unions in response to harsh working conditions during the Industrial Revolution illustrates the concept of cooperation. Workers realized that by banding together and cooperating, they could improve their working conditions and achieve common goals, such as fair wages and safer workplaces. Criticisms and Controversies Spencer's theory of social evolution has not been without its share of criticisms and controversies. Some of the key criticisms include 1. Simplistic view Critics argue that Spencer's application of Darwinian principles to human societies oversimplifies the complexities of social development. Human societies are influenced by a multitude of factors, including culture, politics, economics, and technology, which cannot be fully explained by the notion of survival of the fittest. Critique Societies are influenced by cultural, political, and economic factors that are unique to their historical context. These factors can significantly impact their development, and reducing societal evolution to a simple process of competition overlooks these complexities. 2. Ethical Concerns Social Darwinism, a term often associated with Spencer's work, has faced ethical objections. It has been used to justify harmful ideologies such as eugenics and colonialism, leading to negative connotations. Critique Social Darwinism has been criticized for promoting a dog-eat-dog -dog mentality and justifying inequality. Critics argue that it ignores the moral and ethical responsibilities societies have to ensure the well-being of all their members, particularly the disadvantaged. 
3. Lack of empirical evidence Spencer's theory relied heavily on abstract principles, and some critics argued that it lacked empirical evidence to support its claims. Social scientists in the 20th century moved away from Spencer's theoretical framework in favor of more evidence-based approaches to understanding societal evolution. Critique The lack of concrete empirical evidence supporting Spencer's claims made his theory less convincing to scholars who favored a more rigorous and data-driven approach to sociology. Legacy and Relevance Despite the criticisms, Herbert Spencer's theory of social evolution played a pivotal role in the development of sociology and the study of human societies. It laid the foundation for subsequent sociological theories and influenced thinkers like Emil Durkheim and Max Weber. While many aspects of Spencer's work have been revised and refined over the years, his emphasis on the evolution of societies and the interplay of competition and cooperation remains relevant in contemporary sociological discourse. In conclusion, Herbert Spencer's theory of social evolution represents a significant intellectual contribution to our understanding of how human societies develop and change over time. While it may not provide all the answers to the complex questions surrounding social evolution, it continues to be a part of the broader conversation in sociology and serves as a historical landmark in the field of social sciences.